Hi, I'm Devin Ward, and here's my story. I was born with a condition known as Asperger's Syndrome. Asperger's is a form of autism. Because of Asperger's, my speech patterns sound funny to some people. It causes people to look at me different. But I'm not different from everyone else. I have hopes, and I have dreams, and I want to be respected and loved just like everybody else. I have good days, and I have struggles, just like you, though my struggles may be different. My autism causes people like me to have a tough time interacting socially with people. My autism causes me to have repeat behaviors and clumsiness. One of the symptoms of autism is that people like me take things very literally. It has taken me a long time to realize when people are joking with me. The worst part of autism, I think, is that it causes me to stick out of the crowd. I am different than just about everyone else around me. I look different and I sound different. Because of that, all my life, people have picked on me and made fun of me. Ever since I can remember, people have been mean to me and called me names. I've been picked on and bullied my entire life at school. And to make things worse, I was born into a poor family. My parents love me very much, but we've always struggled because of money. I don't get to have the expensive name brand clothes that everyone else gets. I don't get the cool things that many kids take for granted. My stuff is usually hand-me-downs and leftovers. This too has caused me to be a target for other kids. About three years ago, it became too much for me to take. I became more and more angry. I started to become mean and hurtful to my parents. I began to become depressed and I was tired of being picked on. I was tired of people being mean and hurtful to me. I started to hate life, and I just didn't want to live anymore. I just wanted to die so the pain would stop. I did not believe in God, heaven, or hell. I had nothing to live for. But one day, a friend of mine named Forrest invited me to church. I don't know why I went, but I just did. And there, I met the youth pastor, who invited me to team Bible study. And so I decided to go to that too. When I went to team Bible study, I would like to say everything was different for me. But it wasn't. Most of the teens in the room I knew from school. They really didn't have much to do with me. I still felt awkward and out of place. I wondered if I should just go home. But something inside of me caused me to stay and come back the next week. Maybe it was because we were talking about Jesus, forgiveness, or love. My youth pastor talks about loving other people, even if you don't want to. And he talks about that a lot. Or maybe it was because of other teens struggling too. Maybe they were like me, looking for answers and wanting to change. Maybe I wasn't that different after all. So I kept on going to teen Bible study, which we call Impact. And I started to make friends in the youth group. I began to hang out with friends after teen Bible study. And I started to feel things change inside of me. And the other teens started to change too. The other teens in the youth group learned a lot about me and my struggles. And they learned about Asperger's and how it's affected my life. So they learned that I was picked on at school and I wanted to kill myself. And the most amazing thing happened. They began to reach out to me. And they began to stand up for me at school. And they started including me in their lives. And that changed everything for me. And I realized the love of God is real. I know it's real because I can see it in my friends in the youth group. And they were showing me the love of God. And I also learned that Jesus died for my sins. And that changed my life forever. And I gave my heart to Jesus. And I got baptized. And I started to read my Bible and pray. And I started growing closer to God. My anger started to fade and I began to realize I wanted to live. I realized I had a lot to live for. I started to realize that I was important to God and other people. 
I have learned that God has created me to be one of a kind. I'm supposed to be different, and I'm supposed to stand out, because I'm supposed to show everyone what the love of God can do. I am supposed to show everyone that love and grace changes everything. I thank God for His love and mercy. I thank God for the Impact Youth Group. I thank God for giving me this chance to tell you my story. My name is Devin Ward, and I have been redeemed.